क्वेश्चन नंबर 56 वी हैव व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज द लार्जेस्ट डी ब्रोगली वेवलेंथ ऑल हैव इक्वल वेलोसिटी सो व्हाट इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द डी ब्रोगली वेवलेंथ दैट इज इक्वल्स टू लैम्डा इज इक्वल टू एच बाय एम वी वेयर एम इज द मास ऑफ द पार्टिकल एंड वी इज द वेलोसिटी अब हम यहां पे देखते हैं इट हैज बीन गिवन दैट ऑल हैव इक्वल वेलोसिटी सो डी ब्रोगली वेवलेंथ सिर्फ किस पे डिपेंड करेगी मास ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो वी कैन रेट इट लाइक दिस लैमडा इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू वन बाय एम एंड वी हैव बीन आज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज ए लार्जेस्ट डी ब्रॉगली वेवलेंथ सो किसकी डी ब्रॉगली वेवलेंथ सबसे ज्यादा होगी जिसका मास सबसे कम होगा सो लैमडा विल बी हायर फॉर दैट मॉलिक्यूल और पार्टिकल विच हैज मास लीस्ट so out of the four option that we have co2 molecule nh3 molecule electron and the proton so you must be knowing that the mass of electron is the least so it will have the largest or the highest de broglie wavelength so option number 3 is the correct answer so let's move on to the next one now we have question number 57 which says that consider the graph given below so we have a graph between p and q and we have various options with us and this is a hyperbolic curve so this is a hyperbolic curve and it says that p is inversely proportional to q so we have to find the relation in which p is inversely proportional to q so let's study the various options now the first option is energy versus principal quantum number so we know that the energy is directly proportional to 1 by n square so we will get a parabolic curve not this type of curve so first option is incorrect now coming to the second option where p is the radius and q is the number of protons number of protons means the atomic number the z so we have radius so we know that radius is inversely proportional to 1 by z so this is the correct graph that we are looking for that radius is inversely proportional to z or the number of protons so we will get this type of graph if we draw a graph between radius and z we plot the graph between radius and z so we will get this type of graph so option number 2 is the correct answer so now see the third option as well so in the third option we have p is velocity and q is the square of principal quantum number so we know that the velocity is directly proportional to 1 by n agar yahan pe likha hota p is velocity and q is principal quantum number so we can get this type of graph but yahan pe kya likha hai square of principal quantum number that is n square so n square mein hame kya milega parabolic graph not the hyperbolic graph so this option is also the incorrect option now coming to the fourth option in which p is the energy and q is the number of protons and we know that the energy is directly proportional to z square we will not get this type of graph so option number 2 is the only correct option so i hope students you have understood this so let's move on to the next one now we have question number 58 so which says that if an electron is traveling with the speed of 200 meter per second within 1 meter per second uncertainty what is the theoretical uncertainty in its position so this question is related to the heisenberg's uncertainty principle so it says that delta x dot delta p delta p is the uncertainty in momentum and delta x is the uncertainty in position so it is equal to h by 4 pi and delta p we can also write it like this m into delta v 
सो डेल्टा एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय एम डेल्टा वी इज इक्वल टू एच बाय फोर पाई एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट डेल्टा एक्स दैट इज अनसर्टेनिटी इन पोजिशन सो इट इज इक्वल टू एच बाय फोर पाई इंटू एम इंटू डेल्टा वी सो नाउ सब्सिट्यूट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एच दैट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू दार माइनस थर्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय फोर पाई दैट इज फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर एंड मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन रेस टू दार माइनस थर्टी वन के जी इंटू डेल्टा वी दैट इज अनसर्टेनिटी इन वेलोसिटी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो इंटू वन So, if you calculate this, your answer will come out to be fifty-seven point nine into ten raised to the power minus six meters. So, it is nearly equal to fifty-eight micro meter, as one micro is equal to ten raised to the power minus six. So, the option number three is the correct answer. So let's move on to the next one. So the question number fifty-nine, which says that the concept of orbital is a result of first is Schrödinger wave equation, second is Bohr's atomic model, third is photoelectric effect, and fourth is Sommerfeld's atomic model. So you must be knowing that if we talk about Bohr's atomic model. बॉहर्स ने किसका कंसेप्ट दिया था बॉहर्स ने ऑर्बिट्स का कंसेप्ट दिया था दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव अराउंड दी न्यूक्लियस इन डेफिनेट ऑर्बिट विच मीन्स दैट दी ऑर्बिट्स हैव डेफिनेट एनर्जी सो बोहर हैज गिवन दी कंसेप्ट फॉर ऑर्बिट्स नॉट दी ऑर्बिटल्स सो दिस ऑप्शन इज दी इनकरेक्ट ऑप्शन सो नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी सोमर फेल्स एटोमिक मॉडल Sommer Fields atomic model. We can say that it is just the modification of the Bohr's atomic model. So the Sommer Fields has said that the electron travel in the elliptical orbits. But it has not given the concept of the orbitals. So this is also the incorrect option. So now if we talk about the photoelectric effect, so you must be knowing that. the photoelectric effect depicts the particle nature of the light it does not depict the concept for the orbital so this is also the incorrect option so now we have the schrodinger's wave equation so if i talk about the schrodinger's wave equation it is written like this h psi is equal to e psi so it does not talk about the presence of electrons in a specified orbits it talks about the probability of finding the electron and this psi is the wave function because if we find out the solution of the schrodinger wave equation we can get the wave function psi which is related to the atomic orbitals and where as psi square is the probability density or the probability of finding the electron so it talks about the concept for orbitals or the probability of finding the electron so the option number 1 is the only correct answer so let's move on to the next one now we have question number 60 so which says that the pauli's exclusion principle states that so the pauli's exclusion principle states that the no two electrons in the atom can have the four quantum numbers same so the two electrons will have the different set of quantum numbers so if i see the options now we have first option that is nucleus of an atom contains no negative charge so it is the incorrect option now we have second option that is electrons move in circular orbits around the nucleus so this was given by the bohr's atomic model 
So this is also the incorrect option. Now we have the electrons occupy orbitals of lowest energy. So this is also the incorrect option. Now we have the fourth option. That is all the four quantum numbers of two electrons in an atom cannot be same. So this is the correct statement of the Pauli's exclusion principle. So option number fourth is the correct answer.